now we can discuss about suspension we can make suspension using water and chalk powder when we are adding chalk powder into water the chalk powder is not going to dissolve in it it will be suspended in the water like this here you can see the particles the particles of suspension can be seen using naked eye because that is large particles here the chalk powder in water is a suspension suspension is a heterogeneous mixture of solids in liquid solid means chalk powder is solid water is liquid when we are adding chalk powder into water it will give a heterogeneous mixture heterogeneous means the concentration is not going to be equal everywhere the concentration will be different suspension is a heterogeneous mixture of solids in liquids example chalk powder in water now we can discuss the properties of suspension properties of suspension first one it is heterogeneous mixture because the concentration is not same everywhere it is a heterogeneous mixture second point the particles of suspension can be seen by the naked eye here you can see the particles right so it is a second point particles of suspension can be seen by the naked eye the particles of suspension scatter a beam of light passing through it and make its path visible when a light is passing through that suspension it will undergo multiple reflection that is scattering continuous reflection scattering of light and we can see the path of light it is known as tyndall effect we can see that now here there's a torch and its suspension mixture of chalk powder and water when we are switching on the torch the light will come out and we can see the path because of the scattering of light when light is transmitting through the suspension the path can be seen because of scattering of light chalk powder and water it's a suspension is it stable when we are keeping that chalk powder and water for some time what is going to happen all the chalk powder is going to settle down and we can separate this chalk powder using filter paper these are the next points the solute particle settle down when suspension is left undisturbed particles can be separated by filtration when we are keeping it for some time all particles will settle down because of the gravity and we can separate these particles using filter paper it is very easy to separate because of the size of the particle the size is very big and it will stop it cannot pass through that filter paper it will get separated uh, using a filter paper next one is colloid the example for colloid is milk colloid is if you are comparing colloid and solution the definition is similar in solution the definition was it was a homogeneous mixture of solute and solvent sugar solution sugar is a solute and water is a solvent here colloid is heterogeneous milk is looking homogeneous but it is heterogeneous example for colloid is milk it is a heterogeneous mixture of dispersed phase and dispersion medium the particle present in the milk is dispersed phase and the liquid part is dispersion medium now we can discuss the properties of suspension first one it is heterogeneous the properties are not same everywhere and the particles are not uniformly distributed everywhere it is heterogeneous mixture second one the particles of colloid cannot be seen by naked eye we cannot see any particle in milk right we cannot see anything that is the next property the particles of colloid cannot be seen by naked eye the particles of colloid scatter a beam of light passing through it and make its path visible we are using the same torch and we are transmitting light now we can see the path when the light is transmitting through the milk we can see the path it is known as tyndall effect this phenomenon is known as tyndall effect the path of light can be seen because of scattering of light this phenomenon is known as tyndall effect last property when we are keeping milk for some time are we going to get something at the bottom no we are not going to get anything at the bottom because colloid is a stable mixture we cannot separate the particles of milk the particles of colloid using filter paper they cannot be separated by filtration and they do not settle down when left undisturbed mixture is stable means when we are keeping that milk for a some time without any disturbance the particles are not going to settle down because the mixture is stable it is a heterogeneous mixture colloid is stable here you can see the sunlight 
the particles of atmosphere particles of atmosphere is scattering the light and you can see the sunlight the path of sunlight it is tindall effect different types of colloid it's very important there are different types of colloid according to the nature of dispersed phase and dispersion medium there are different types of colloid dispersed phase dispersion medium type example liquid and gas if the dispersed phase is liquid and dispersion medium is gas it is known as aerosol and examples are fog and clouds if dispersed phase is solid dispersion medium is gas it is known as aerosol example smoke if dispersed phase is gas liquid and dispersion medium is liquid it is known as foam shaving cream liquid in liquid colloid emulsion example milk solid in liquid colloid sol it is very important solid in liquid colloid sol example mud gas in solid colloid foam example sponge liquid in solid colloid gel example jelly solid in solid colloid solid sol example colored gemstone subscribe our channel for getting instant notification of sample paper solution and support us for providing free online classes to everyone www.winpointonlineclasses.com